Hello. There's quite a few things to go over in this video. Over the last couple of weeks, the majority of my time has been spent on ship handling and stability. Uh, with stability being probably the, the largest focus. I get that it's a big topic and I am not a marine engineer, so I can't speak authoritatively on this, but I do know that with, well, any ship, Stability is a hugely important factor, and I feel that it sometimes or often gets neglected in this type of game. So, every part of this is in a huge degree of testing. There are issues, great and small. Uh, but I do want to give a brief overview of the, the new components that have been implemented. So, firstly, variable metacentric height. The roll point of the hull can be influenced across all three axes. Uh, this can be influenced by a change of mass and the position in which the mass is placed. For example, adding cargo in the hold will increase draft, but generally also lower the metacentric height. Uh, although this can still result in instability if the load is placed uh, significantly off-centered. Uh, but in general terms, putting heavy weight in the bottom of the ship will make it ride lower in the water, but be more stable. Secondly, and tied pretty closely with the above, is ballast. Ship hulls have been made considerably lighter, um, with the difference made up through a player-controlled amount of ballast. This can be controlled to allow more flexibility when it comes to cargo. Reducing ballast without any other mass in the hull is a great way to speedrun the development of submarines. It's controlled through a UI right now. Um, I'm not sure if I will keep it that way, but it's simple and it works. And you can see with it fully reduced the hull becomes very unstable. Which can lead to uh, bad things. Such as sinking. Sinking is another thing that has been significantly changed. It happens maybe a bit fast at the moment. Um, but flooding has been made progressive. And as far as how flooding works. Uh, it uh, It's different to weight added to the hull via, for example, cargo. Uh, while flood water does add considerably to the weight of the hull, rather than increasing your stability, uh, it will actually have the opposite effect. Um, and reduce the whole stability considerably. Uh, this is a, a means of simulating the free surface effect. So if flooding is not kept under control, you will either swamp due to ever increasing draft or roll. Partial self-draining due to the scuppers and Limiting of floodwaters due to things like closed hatches are planned, but not currently implemented. This is a look at the ballast in the caravel. Uh, you can also see some changes made to the model, um, as well as pallets, which have been added to the floor of currently all of the ships. Uh, the purpose of these is just to better indicate where you should be placing the cargo, or rather where you are allowed to place the cargo. I'm going to remove the ballast here so you can see some stability issues uh, influence the poor caravel. And down she 
it goes. Like the junk, the uh, rate of sinking is is far too fast, but uh, the the process behind it is working fairly well. Um, you can see issues with clipping, in particular, of the the water plane when it uh, transitions from uh, displaced to no longer displaced uh, is a little bit jank at the moment. Uh, and obviously you can probably hear some audi audio issues that have yet to be resolved, but it is well in progress. Separate to stability, there have been numerous changes made to ship handling. Ship inertia uh, has been altered and dampened pretty heavily, so ships will accelerate much more slowly now but they will maintain the speed they have built up considerably better uh, making it easier to tack through turns um, or handle the ship with uh, reef sails for example the effectiveness of the steering has been made dependent on hull speed through the water so the slower the ship is traveling, the less effective the rudder will become. Uh, if you have come to a complete stop, you may need to use uh, warping or kedging to actually turn the ship fully. And lastly, for handling, I've largely rewritten the forces behind healing logic. Uh, healing should overall be considerably smoother, especially under heavy rudder inputs. As well as the fact that generally the hull should now heal uh, away from the direction of turn rather than into it like a modern speedboat. Although this may depend on uh, how, how heavily the hull is, is healing in the wind prior to making the turn. But generally, or in, in general terms, um, the, the ship should be a little less snappy and jerky when it comes to uh, aggressive maneuvering. To finish off, there have been uh, a number of changes and additions for things like world props, the cleats, tools, and other visual interest items uh, as well as the bulk of the textures have been converted for mipmap streaming so this will give moderate performance increases but also significantly increase the clarity of textures when you are close to them so uh, things should in general be a little less muddy Uh, on the ships themselves, a number of things have been added, like um, bedding and pillows, uh, as well as on all of the ships. Nearly all of the meshes have now been um, converted for, uh, or rather have had uh, lawn meshes added. So there's a lot less geometry being rendered most of the time, um, which also helps with performance a bit. So it, it, it runs decently, but there's definitely uh, a fair bit more work to be done uh, in that regard. But regardless, I wanted to thank you for watching, and I'll have another video out in the relative near future.